Hi Libra, it's Tuesday. We're going to do your love reading. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and whoever Libra is thinking about. Um, this message is general, so cannot, will not resonate for everyone in the same way. Just take what resonates and leave the rest. Please don't force it. What else? Um, the roles can be reversed, intermingle and flip around. So just, uh, you know, take it and flip it if you need to. Okay, so I got to tell you, I'm already feeling like uh, somebody in and out, five of swords, a uh, conflict, battle, um, five and seven of swords, and in and out, somebody coming in and out, oh goodness, let's see, um, I'm also feeling judgment, maybe justice, maybe a Libra. Okay, let's see. Let's get started. Love you guys. Hope you're well. Please leave a comment. The, the free readings and gift cards are given away randomly through the comments. I love to hear your stories and where you're watching from. Um, okay, let's get started. Libra, please. Sun, moon, rising Venus. What does Libra need to hear? Love and blessings to all this reaches. Wow. Two knights manifesting, someone rushing in. Ten of Pentacles looks like somebody rushing back out. Kinda, doesn't it? I just I'm feeling such a strong in and out energy. Alright. Eight of Cups walking away. And you know what else I'm getting, Libra? I feel like you, because you guys are so, you know, trying to be fair, that you may be, oh, um, this may be going on more than it should. Seven of Pentacles, yeah, waiting for an apology, maybe. The chariot, that's forward motion. It could be travel, but I don't know. Let's see. Okay, Libra. Sun and rising Venus. Let me, let me shuffle one, a couple more times, and then we'll cut the deck. There is definitely soulmate energy here, maybe a Leo, but um, look at that Ten of Cups, happiness, happiness, two happiness cards right there. So don't fret, you may be in a, a rough little cycle, but oh, I cut the deck. A Leo again, interesting. And there you are, Libra. Communication coming. Uh -uh. So I'm back up in my bedroom. So you won't hear the grandfather clock, but you'll hear the chimes now. That's good. Okay. There's a lot of uncertainty here. Somebody not sure what to do. Your energy. Page of cups. That's communication. Sweet. Maybe flirty text. Could be somebody younger than you or maybe a little emotionally immature. Oh my gosh. Overall energy, four of wands. Could be dealing with the twin flame. If I do an extended for this, I'll put the link down below. The extendeds come out really, really good. So, um, or I, I don't do them very often. And if they don't come out really, really good, I don't post them. But here's four of wands. This could be, you know, soulmate, twin flame, family. Wow. That would explain why we've got the in and out. Because there's, you know, usually with Twin Flame, there's a runner and a chaser. Six of Wands, on their mind, recognition, glory, success. But I, mm, I'm not going to say anything yet. King of Wands, how they view you. Libra, King of Wands, somebody that can take action. Decisive action. Somebody, you know, very... Um, Passionate is coming to mind. I feel like this person, or maybe it's you. Um, 
why am I shaking? Dress is really nice. Has really nice things, nice clothes. How they view the situation, Nine of Wands. Not giving up, but you know, they've been through the ringer. That's what they're thinking at least. Wow, Aries energy, the Emperor. How they see moving forward. That's pretty bold. That with this, look how bold that is. These are both their, this is how they see moving forward, taking charge. And they, it looks like they are wanting Libra. Maybe you're the one that's indecisive. Jeez. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Okay, so behind the scenes, what you cannot see, King, we got, we've got three kings here. We have the emperor, the king of pentacles, which is stability, and the king of wands, which is, you know, all about passion and action. Lots of wands, lots of fire, lots of Aries. King of Pentacles could be dealing with the Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Again, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of picking up on somebody's successful. Mm. Nice things, nice clothing, you them. Ooh, Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Tarot's advice if you choose to take it. That's weird. My cards are not, not very many in reverse. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. I would think that means don't put all your energy into something that's not stable. But again, soulmate. Could be a, a two, could be two couples here. I only see one queen. Though we have three kings. We're going to clarify that. There's that five of wands. Well, there, there's the five of wands. That's, you know, conflict, bickering, fighting. That's the outcome. So whatever it is, it looks like you're in the thick of it still, unfortunately. Wow. Yeah, look at this. Somebody's, somebody's just not sure it could be you if they want to even trust this. Because I think... It's been two in and out. Pe five of pentacles. And I'm feeling like it's really unnecessary. And it's very confusing. Interesting. Whoops. Oh, I wanted to ask you guys this. If, if any of you know how to read these, you know, the, the, the black, this is so crazy. This looks like a landscape. I don't know if you can see it. The black marks looks like a landscape with clouds. And then look at that. It's weird. And it looks like a storm. I mean, I've never seen a candle do this. But anyway, kind of interesting. All right, back to you. <laughs> All right, I'm going to put these back because I don't know... Um, they were on the bottom of the deck. <clears throat> okay. Let's get some general clarifiers, please. And then we'll get into some specifics if we need to, Libra, please. Death card. Oh. For some of you, this might be literal. I'm so sorry if that is. Usually in tarot, the death card just means an ending of a dynamic or energy so that a new one can begin. Another clarify, please. I kind of feel like no matter how majestic and great of a partnership this is, it's just not coming together. Look at that. Just confusion. It's very confusing. And you're all over the place. Should I stay? Should I go? There's the four of swords. Okay. More on this, please. Truth and clarity. This is victory after a battle. Also, truth and clarity and a new beginning that's based on truth. This is a beautiful card. 
there's a, a painful ending here. Hmm. Somebody might have, I'm um, just got a glimpse of um, sapphire. That might be somebody's birthstone. My hands are shaking. That's weird. Bad. Um, I mean, it's not bad, but they're shaking pretty bad. And look at that bottom of the deck. There's a talk. I think there's a toxic element here. It could be. Um, wow. It could be, you know, an, an outsider affecting things. But I don't like it. Okay, tell me about this. Somebody's, pa somebody's paging. Somebody's texting. Um, page of Cups. Tell me about the Page of Cups. Clarifying the Page of Cups. Okay, that's come out several times. There's that Judgment card. I think somebody may be trying to come back too soon or hoping for this to come together too soon when it's not ready. This is Reconciliation, but this is Healing. And you know, you kind of can't rush it. Um, tell me about the Six of Wands. I don't know about that. Somebody dealing with the narcissist? What? Sapphire. Sapphire jewelry. Oh, somebody. Okay, guys, somebody just. I think somebody uh, comes and goes for maybe their ego, but there's communication coming. And they may be telling you about, you know, something that they did or achieved. Hmm. Six of Cups, Two of Swords. Oh my gosh, there's that again. Okay, okay, I'll look at it more. Memories of the past. Thinking about the past, wanting to come together. Somebody wants to be unblocked. Somebody was blocked, it hurt, 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 hurt. There, there, I, there's, I feel like there's a, an outside influence here. But somebody's gonna communicate they wanna be together or they, or they already have. Um, let's skip to outcome. Oh no, tell me about how uh, this person views Libra with the King of Wands and the Nine of Wands. It's been a long, hard road, we know that. Libra, for some of you, it might be you sending um, mixed signals. Ace of Cups, look at that. They really do want a new beginning. Oh, wow. They're not admitting it. There's that Five of Swords. I think there's, there's a lot of um, strife and conflict within a marriage is what I think. For some of you, there's that. And the coats. Um, there may be a, a spouse that has left or a significant other, a female, maybe a, a wife that has actually left due to a lot of conflict. But why do we have the the six of wands in the emperor? So, as troubled and difficult as this is, this person might be, you know, somewhat of an energy vampire um, or, you know, narcissistic, but as messed up or, <laughs> sorry, as controlling as they are, um, they want to come back and they want to offer love. So, we're going to have to focus on advice, I think. Yeah, they want to cooperate. So we've got two cards around this Five of Swords. This is conflict, battle, right? And then we have the Hierophant, which is truth, ethics, morals. Could be counseling um, or a mentor, but, you know, it's marriage. And then we have this conflict, battle, and then we have the High Priestess, which is secrets, 
Um, but she know okay, she knows things. So looks like something came to the surface. Something was revealed. A lot of um, turmoil here. Why do we have the Ace of Pentacles? Where did that come from? Oh, where did that come from? Ace of Pentacles. Do we already have that? So that's, you know, uh, stable new beginnings. This person's going to come forward. We know that with a stable new beginning, but it's not going to come easy. We still have conflict coming. Jeez. Um, tell me about this Five of Wands and Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody's going to communicate they're serious this time. Or maybe you need to. you got to flip the rules. But that looks like an apology to me. Oh, yeah. Two cups. Somebody's probably... Yeah, oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. New beginning. Yep. Somebody's just fo really, like, dead set, focused on having a new beginning with you. There could be some spying going on. That could be you, though. Passionate new beginning. Letting go of the baggage. Two cups. The, some, okay, your person or you um, wants to make something good happen here. Uh, let me get a couple oracles. Libra. Yeah, it's not, the hard stuff's not over is what it looks like. Life is tough, but so are you. Boy, isn't that true? You are spiritually connected to those you love. Um, let's get some of these. Oops. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you. Let me grab it. Dealings or relationship with a man with blonde, gray, or white hair. This also could be a Libra again. But this is, you know, fairness. I like that. Handshake, teapot. Okay, let's see what else. A Libra. Thank you. Oh, okay. I'm not going to take all these that are down. Too many, but I'm going to take these. Younger woman. Dealings or relationship with a younger woman. And successfully overcoming a problem. So, there's a tie here. It, it, Looks like there's some deception, truth, and clarity is going to come out, but it's not, hasn't really come to a head yet, you know what I mean? All right, Libra, let me know in, okay, you're going to get communication, and they're going to, the communication is going to be to get back together. It, this may have already happened, and you may already be fast forward into the try, the problem, the hard part again, because it just looks like this is a cycle, and, you know, the best thing to do, let me get an advice card. See. You know, the best thing to do, of course, is to focus on yourself and be able to um, not rely on somebody else for your happiness because this is this is a rough journey. But they're coming back. And somebody is there is a, some some relationship here is ending. With that Queen of Pentacles on the lips. Let me get some advice for Libra. Thank you. All that glitters. This is about, you know, being attracted to things just because they look good. Remember when I said the, the nice clothes? There's some kind of flashiness or um, desire for flashiness. One more, please. Honey, that's, I think that's taking care of your home. Let me see what that is real quick. I'm going to read it. Happy, happy in between two worlds. So yeah, it just keeps going back and forth. It's like you're happy and then you're not. You're happy and then you're not. They come, you're happy, they go, you're not. Um, or you're doing this to them. You're having a hard time creating together. And keeping the yin for your yang, yin, yin for yin yang. <laughs> wow. 
Um, but you do have milk and honey and happy, happy. So, you know, the, the, the choices are yours, whether you want to take this person back or not, or let them continue to do this. I would say no. Um, you've reached the moment of truth and evolution of your relationship. Let me see, make sure I'm reading the right thing. Nope. Milk and honey. Oh my Opportunities born of authenticity. Be authentic. There's a strong message there. I just felt that. Um, you've entered a sweet time in your life, enjoying the land of milk and honey that everyone wants to experience. So I, I do, something else is going on that you can maybe distract yourself from and focus on, which is going to help you get not deal, you know, have to be sad about this person. Definitely need to want, want, need to find a way not to obsess, okay? Um, here's the relationship part. Sensuality, connection, and passion. Passionate romance between lovers. Sweet moments of understanding and love. Love among friends and family are all here for you to savor. Your heart's calling will be answered. Let your thoughts and your feelings be sweet with gratitude, and you will be nourished with the honey of abundance. Hmm. So keep your chin up and focus on the good, even though you've got this in and out energy. Um, it looks like somebody's just not able to let you go. I... Star, Aquarius, preserve and you will overcome problems. With the camel. Look at that, guaranteed success. Aquarius energy. You guys are going to get through this, okay? Just keep your chin up. And I know you guys are trying to keep it so fair and balanced, so that might be keeping you a little bit more apt to, you know, stick in there when you should probably pull out. So don't be afraid to pull out. It's not, don't think that if you don't stand your ground and, and hold on to your value here, that you'll lose them. Because I don't see that. I see the best thing that you could do is let them go if they want to go and um, hold your value. So when it does come back, it's better. Okay. All right. Love you guys. Bye, Libra.